Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. Here, the purpose is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. Today's video is a message for 2019. I have invited one of my special spirit friends to come in and just have the stage. You will see a transformative style channel, what I like to refer to as a trans channel, T-R-A-N-S dash channel because it's a collaborative partnership where we share energetic space and I will pick up on some of the energy of this uh, spirit friend and bring that forward through some of my gestures and the word choice etc. All right so are you ready? Do you want to maybe guess who we might be talking to? Of course, I'm going to start out the new year by giving some gratitude, giving some love to Prince in the afterlife because he is the first celebrity channel that I did publicly and he has just been a wonderful guide. So I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope it's inspiring. We'll see what Prince has to share for the new year. It may take some time for me to get into the transformative channel state. So give me a moment here. Now she knows I don't celebrate that stuff. I don't celebrate any of that stuff. You know, what I celebrate is I celebrate life. Bridget wants me to talk about uh, the new year. She wants me to say something profound, I think is what uh, her wish was. You know, things are different now for you all than they were for me. Even in this just the short time since I've been in your shoes. A lot has changed. You're, you're right to reflect upon that. You, you, tr you truly, truly you are. That's, that is truth. Even music's different. No, I'm talking like an old man. That's not really my style, but. It's a good thing the soul is ageless. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about time. You know, I was criticized for that, for time or timeliness. Maybe it's more appropriate to say timelessness that losing all track of time. Like it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Like it's a bad thing, right? Being in your own space and creating that room for yourself to grow, to learn, to become, to create whatever you want to make.
it seems like there's, you got all the time in the world, but you don't. You don't. You just don't. Simple as that. And when I look at how things are now, it feels like It, it feels like y'all are stuck. It feels like on the earthly plane, in the earthly way, seems like a lot of complaining, a lot of blaming and shaming and pointing fingers at one another. And that is, that is not a way to live. That is no way to live. You act like you got all the time in the world and then you act like everybody's taking your time. Everybody's taking life away from you, taking your days, taking your years. Ain't nobody taking, nobody's taking nothing from you unless you're giving it. But it does seem an awful lot like there's a lot of negativity. And I'm not really, I'm not really into that. I've never really been into that. Now I recognize when you have been wronged and you feel that you've been wronged and you're trying to make things right, not just for yourself, but for others and for society. I recognize that that's a powerful place to be. And it's a good thing to have a voice and to stand up. But don't miss the point. The point in that is to come together. It's for togetherness togetherness. It's not to be by yourself. Be alone. Be one. That ain't, that's no way to live. And you're going to be lonely if you're blaming each other and pushing on each other and pushing people away that love you. It's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. So what's it going to take? What's it going to take for you to make a change? I'm not really big on the whole resolution thing. Heck, I, I, you know, I don't even set goals, really. I just do my thing. It's hard for me to say what you should do. From a human perspective, I know in your brain you're not going to listen. It's like you want an excuse to be feel. It's like you want an excuse to feel less. To not participate. To not show up for your life. I, I am not your excuse for that. Don't be looking at my life and, and act like you know, because, because you don't know. I don't know your life either. Everyone has their own, everyone has their own choices to make. Judge not or you shall be judged. And it's not even about fear. It's not about fear, but it sure feels like that's a, like a virus that's just infecting everybody. It's just all fear, fear. And uh, Bridget would say, um, overwhelmed, overwhelmment. Too much, too much. I'm, so, I'm, I'm too sensitive, I'm too sensitive. That's on you. You don't like it, then change. You got to change yourself first. In order to change yourself, you got to recognize what isn't working for you and make a change on that. And sometimes it takes effort and it takes failing, making mistakes. There's plenty of times in my own life when I made mistakes, terrible mistakes, awful mistakes. But the point is to learn from that and to grow and to move ahead with that, to use it as, you know, like a fuel. Like to give you a, a, a inspiration for something better. You gotta, 
you got to want to reach for something better, even if you're dealing with addiction or depression or any of those kind of labels you might want to use for yourself or for other people as an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's a real situation, circumstance. Uh, yes, but it's not an excuse. No one's to blame for my life but me. Same for you. Same for you. I know I'm not going to change your mind. I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. I was just asked to talk about the new year. Give you an opportunity. But see, you see, the thing is, is every day is new opportunity. Every day is new. Everything's new. All the time it can be new. You just got to choose new, not old, new. If you find yourself back in the old and the old isn't helping you, new, 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 new people, new faces, new places, new things, new environment. Get out of the places that are hurting you. Get away from the people who are hurting you. Find your way to the light of positivity and make choices based on that. You can find your way. You're not lost. Quit acting like you're lost. You're not lost. We're not bumping around in the dark. I know. I know. It might be harsh, but I mean, I know you. I know you might think that's a little harsh to say. But it's the truth. It's the truth. I'm not going to say go easy on yourself. I'm going to say it takes effort. You know, it takes hard work. But it starts with caring about yourself and how you're feeling. You got to be kind to yourself first. You got to love yourself first before you can love others. If people are being all negative and they're fighting, they're lashing out other people around them, it's a pretty good sign that that's how they feel on the inside. Their insides are feeling that way. And they're trying to get it out of them. So pay attention. Watch what you say. What are your feelings trying to tell you? That's how you can help yourself. That's how you can help yourself. You got, but you got to do it yourself. You got to care enough about you and your value to make a change. You got to care enough about you and your value to recognize, oh, it's a new day. Oh, this is new. Oh, this old is not working for me. Oh, this is new. And don't spend so much time complaining about it. That doesn't help anybody doesn't help you at all. Just makes, just makes you feel worse. You know, that's an interesting thing. That's what I can see in the two years or so since I've been gone, that human time frame. That's not very long in human time. Certainly not very long here. When you energy, everything's just one, one flow. It's more like a circle, like an oval. Not a line, not a straight line, that's for sure, not a straight line. And so much can happen in a short amount of time. But the choices are, that you make are your own. And not making a choice, that's a choice. You've heard that, so maybe, it's not, it's not profound. But if you're seeking some insight, some messages, of hope or optimism. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to get that from me, but you might get it from music or an excellent book. It might do you good to do some reading. Expand your mind, you know, stretch your brain a little bit. Give your mind something else to think about besides your own problems, your own worries. Your woe is me. Stretch your mind a little. Maybe you should read a good book. Read something. I think that will help. I don't think Bridget's going to be very happy with me. I'm not, I'm not feeling very positive in the presentation of my message today. But the truth is, is the reality is reality. And that's where you're at. 
I'm connecting to you with where you're at. I'm feeling your energy. I'm mirroring it back. And that's what happens. That's what happens in the spirit. That's what happens in energy in the afterlife. That is what happens. That is the process. So I hope we've made some progress today. Hmm. Lectures by Prince in the afterlife. Yeah, I don't think we're just going to let me talk much more. There is hope for you, though. Stop acting like you're hopeless. You're not hopeless. There is hope for you. And I, know, I do know that. I do know that. He didn't say anything about my hat. I thought he would. His energy felt kind of, um, gosh, I feel like I'm in a reflective state. Like I could really just kind of almost sleep right now. I love to channel and talk with people that in the afterlife that give me like positive messages and inspiring words and make me feel good. But when I just did this channel, it felt like really raw and real, kind of almost. Um, it's almost as though he was calling us forward, calling us in to recognize and take accountability for the way that we're feeling right now whether it's just your mood or whether it's something much more serious than that. It feels like he was really calling us forward into uh, recognition to take accountability for how we're feeling about things and to make a shift so that we can feel better and be better, whether it's just a mood thing, whether it's something much more serious than that, or and without judgment, too, without judgment. And I think... Uh, I think I'm gonna have to watch this back. It seemed kind of more serious than I expected necessarily expected from him. However, I kind of gave him the floor. So when he came in, it felt really like, um, it felt a little bit, it felt a little bit, um, I mean, I could feel him right away and he was like, whoa, I could feel his energy really like kind of high, like woohoo, coming in. And then I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, simmer down, mister, you know. But then when he got in, it seemed much more serious, like there was a much more of a serious focus. And so like for shift, like his purpose was to come in, talk real, have real and raw talk about energy stuff and about to help us shift it. So go ahead and take a moment to write in the comments what you received or what messages you got out of this transformative channeling with Prince in the afterlife. I'd be interested to know. Remember, this is Above Life channel and every week there are new weekly channeling videos. And not all of them are in this format in transformative style. Some of them are conversation style, but the purpose is always the same. It is always to bring inspiration to your spirit, to fill you up with hope because this is your life. It truly is your life. So live it. This is yours to live. So live it. This is Bridget. Thank you so much for watching.